Yo, what is going on guys? Loco here and I'm back with a brand new video. The season's been out for three weeks now. We can officially confirm a couple major map changes coming to the game and also a new mythic weapon that no one's talking about. So with that, let's get right into it. Okay, so let me start off by saying that this whole vacation that Epic is taking right now just feels like a month long preseason. One of the more annoying things for me and also the other pro players out there is that we don't actually know what's going to be in the game. Should I practice my drop landing on the spidey hands and then run two SMGs? Or is this meta going to be completely different come week six to seven? It gives a lot of competitive players a bit of hesitation before sitting down and grinding the game because it almost feels like you are practicing for a meta that will essentially never exist. But obviously, it's a big maybe. We don't know if Epic has made these changes to the busted spray meta on purpose in an attempt to physically change the game for good. I mentioned week six to seven for a reason, however. Hypex tweeted, when the IO arrive on the map in week six slash seven with their drillers, they'll have six outposts on the map around the seven and an actual POI called Covert Canyon and codenamed Crazy Cave. It's a counterpart of the Sanctuary and probably the Mystic SMG location too. The Grotto 2 question mark. The data miners and leakers have been going crazy over this and we can tell the anticipation by them is high. This will no doubt be the biggest update of the chapter so far and we are already in week three, which just means that this update is less than a month away. So let's talk about it. First, let's get into the Mythic IO base that's being talked about. It's funny because the last few seasons on chapter two, Epic teased the grotto returning because each season the water levels lowered down at the location of the grotto. And so many people were anticipating for it to open up last season, which obviously never happened. I don't know about how you guys feel. I'm not sure everyone feels this way, but the grotto was a favorite POI of mine. There's a lot of hype of it returning from a lot of players, so I know I can't be the only one, but I feel like the reason for this POI being wanted back is just the playstyle it brought. Most POIs, you land on the highest chest or the most dense area for chest in the POI, and you just have a normal fight off spawn. The Grotto felt different though. There was multiple hallways and sections of this POI that turned off spawn fights into a clicks 2v2 box fight arena. At least that's what it felt like to me. Also, the vault brought an interesting aspect to the POI because most pro teams had to decide if they were willing to accept the loot down by the water or were they willing to risk an off spawn death by fighting for the vault, which by the way was a guaranteed launch pad. There was also multiple teleporters to get around the place and a free slipstream for rotations out. It truthfully was the most fun POI to fight out of in my opinion, and it's definitely a giant W having a Grotto 2 returning. Now obviously this leaked cave could potentially have absolutely nothing to do with Grotto, and it's going to be a newly designed cave, which I'm also all for. What I'm not all for though is definitely the mythic SMG spawning out there. As I talked about in a previous video, this SMG will be getting added to the game with a lethal 48 damage headshot per bullet. And according to new leaks, the other IO guards that will be placed in the cave will be dropping a blue rarity SMG. So I think we can all agree that hopefully the gun has been balanced a bit before all this stuff comes to the game. Next, let's talk about the long awaited tilted towers. And for any of you guys playing the game right now, whether it's pubs, arena or comp, let me just show you something really fast. For those that don't know, this is where Tilted Towers will be during week seven. And I'm assuming around week six, the snow will begin to melt and we will most likely be able to land on top of the buildings at Tilted. But people are sleeping on the loot right now. I'm gonna pull up a map with the loot tracker on it and look at how much loot there is just lying around on top of it right now. It's an almost guaranteed launch pad due to the amount of floor loot spawns and also a working slurp truck just lying on the edge of the POI. Also, if you need to get out quickly, a couple hundred meters away are four to five guaranteed rifts for a free early game rotation. So the landing spot right now is good, but do you think that once the POI is fully discovered that there'll be even more loot here? It's going to be so fun landing tilted the first couple weeks after the POI drops. I'm anticipating at least half the lobby gliding in the sky with you to ensue in all the chaos. With all the new IO stuff coming to the game, there has been a leak of a mythic shotgun that looks similar to the striker. I've seen lots of hopes from players on Twitter thinking maybe they'll bring back one mythic spaz into the game, but it may not be the case. We still need to find out more information about the shotgun, but how would you guys feel having one mythic pump return in week six or seven? I feel like as long as the mythics that come out only have one version of them and you have to defeat a boss for them, it's usually not too much of a problem and I'd be excited to 200 pump someone again. Overall, the season's definitely dry competitive wise. I watched duo scrims last night from Clicks and Day's point of view, and the first game was stacked, but after that, it seemed as if legit no one cared. Surge wasn't even popping in a full pro scrim, and it was just everyone running around with SMGs. The scrims were canceled early due to how bad the practice was, and most players seemed as if they actually just didn't care. 
kind of goes back to the first thing I talked about in the video. No one's actually certain how the game will be played in two to three weeks. So no one's actually trying their hardest. One of the cool things I noticed from these scrims was that Clicks definitely has put in a lot of time as an IGL and it seems pretty impressive to me. Another cool thing I noticed was that Clicks basically IGL day all the way into endgame, but there was a certain point where day took over around first to second moving and made most of the comms. The duo is actually so scary to fight and I'm really looking forward to competitive in 2022. I'll most likely drop a video on Christmas morning for you guys, so be on the lookout for that, but that's going to be it for me today. Today's video is a bit different from the others, basically just waiting for more events and updates to come in the near future. Make sure you guys like the video, drop a comment, I want to hear what you guys are thinking, and I'll see you guys on Christmas. Much love, peace out, and happy holidays.